Greetings and welcome YouTubers to another wonderful adventure into Zelda theories. This time, we are going to look into who the old man and woman are, and, if any, their motivation in the whole scheme of things. Now, I know what people are thinking. Why would a random old man and old woman with no ties to Link help? Well, my loyal Zeldians, let us find out. Do, 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 do. Ready? Here I go! In The Legend of Zelda, there are several old men whom help or hinder Link along the way. The first one giving him a wooden sword to destroy the evils of Ganon. Another a letter to give to the old woman for potions. Yet another giving a chance for more bombs. For a price. From heart pieces to making the poor hero pay for the bush door he destroyed. The old man continues in his quest to make Link a better person. But why does he consistently give advice and upgrades? Well. It all starts and ends with the Triforce, an ocarina, and the ability to control time. The old man is in fact a sage! A sage? But Peach! How could this be? A simple test of magic, thought, and a little research has me thinking exactly that. The old men in The Legend of Zelda are the original sages. They are helping you to save their own lives forced into hiding in caves, underground, in dungeons, and behind waterfalls. They are helping you to escape the fate of death at Ganon's hands. But it continues through the Adventure of Link, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, Four Swords Adventures, and so many more. There are old men whose role is predetermined by bloodlines and lineage to be a sage. So most have gone into hiding to prevent being abducted and killed, so they don't unite their powers against the evildoers. Now Link must save them and help awaken them in order to receive help himself. It seems a vicious cycle, until the Ocarina of Time, when the Golden Goddesses created a parallel dimension in Hyrule. It was at that very place from which they departed the world to return to the heavens that this rift of time opens up, giving not just one, but two dimensions for Link to defend be it himself or one of his descendants. Sigh. So not only does our hero need to save Zelda, but also the sages of Hyrule. Twilight Princess, here I come! Oh well, I suppose that in the end, it will all be worth it. Now, on to the old woman. First, if you read the manual, you encounter Impa, the old woman of Zelda, whom you must save. Poor Link, the lone boy, adventuring along, when an old woman gets cornered by Ganon's troops. Feeling sorry for her, Link jumps in and saves the day. Hooray! Go, Link! Then she decidedly tells him everything, making him burn with a sense of justice. Why? I have no flippin' idea. If I were a boy on an adventure, I would stick with slaying small things. But no! This boy wants to go and defeat a huge evil force that wants to take over the world. And he needs more things to do it. I suppose you could call this a super quest for a small boy. I mean, holy cow! And if he didn't take the quest, there would be no world to continue in because Impa would probably get herself captured again. Jeez. So, I suppose it's either accompany an annoying old woman to find someone better for the job, or take it on yourself and get fame, a girlfriend, and time away from the storyteller of Hyrule. Hmm, not a hard decision. And, since there is no continuation of the story, we have no idea what happened to her. Or do we? In the adventure of The Legend of Zelda, Link meets an old woman. She won't talk to him until he delivers a note. Sounds suspicious. At least he gets a potion after, but there is more. She also runs a scam where you pay her and she will quote unquote talk. Alas, unless you pay out the top rupee amount, you will get nothing. So this woman is motivated only by money. Hmm, maybe the old man is pimping after all. There is no real proof or ties about this woman. But as Impa disappears and the old woman reappears too, quote unquote help you, I think it's obvious that Impa is in relations with the old man and is making money on the side, helping Link. But Peach, there isn't proof. But Peach, where else does she appear? But Peach, what does she have to gain? Well, Zeldonians, I assure you it wasn't wholesome. In the second game, Zelda 2, Adventure of Link, she decides to buy a house and give up her cave dwelling days for a life of prostitution and debauchery. Yes, that is right. She will always invite you in for some magic 
restoration, and later will send you on a quest to find her child magic water. She will offer you a magic container if you come inside, and let you meet the wise men if you help them with some task. What? She is still with that pimpy old man? Yep. She still has a great relationship with her hubby, and instead of a cave, it is now a real home. What an upgrade! <laughs> She also poses as another woman. From Syrup in A Link to the Past to Twinrova in Majora's Mask, she even makes an appearance as a tree witch in the Crystal Trap. So, what does she have to gain? Her freedom. After all, she is a sage. Peach! Zombie! A sage? What? Yes! She is a sage that helps Link on his quest to rescue Zelda and the Triforce. Once Ganon is defeated, both man and woman can live in their lives as they choose, not having to worry about if the next time she sees her family will be on a stake at Ganon's fortress, or in some dungeon as the new slime edition, blub blub, with a well-added bonus of a hot, well-muscled boy traipsing around giving her lovin's. All in all, a pretty good reason to help defeat evil. So the next time I see Granny on one of my adventures, I'll be sure to mentally thank her for all her help. Then sigh inwardly as I realize she just wants my nookie. Ugh, the nookie. Anyway, this is Proto Peach signing out. Please remember to like, favorite, subscribe, and tell all your friends. I like friends.